two hours and six minutes read. Anyway. Hi, I'm Co Carnage. I stream over on Twitch. Nice to meet you. Uh, so we've been getting a lot of questions about my build in Witcher 3. So I thought I'd make a quick little video on uh, my build so you guys can see exactly what I'm using. I've been using this build pretty much for Witcher 3, Heart of Stone, and uh, Blood and Wine. And I've loved this build. It's been great. And uh, yeah, been really enjoying it. So let's go over it really quick and I can show you what we're doing here. So it's primarily a light armor, fast attack, crit build. Uh, it's focused on whirl, around whirl, and um, has a little bit of alchemy and a little bit of general, but that's really about it. So where we're going to start, we have five points in muscle memory, and that increases fast attack, uh, fast attack damage and adrenaline point gain. We also have five points in precise blow, increases the chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 10%, and fast attack critical hit damage by 75. That really adds up quick. Pretty awesome. Uh, and then we finally have five points in whirl, which is a really uh, great ability. That's the one that you see if you ever watch my stream, you see me whirling around uh, all the time with like a lightsaber particle effect. That's whirl plus an ability called severance, which I'll show you at the end of this. Um, and then finally, I do have five points into this. This is an ability called Crippling Strikes. Now, I, I could just put it right here on my build, um, but I don't have it equipped right now because I was doing some testing, uh, seeing if the bleed from uh, Crippling Strikes overwrites the bleed that comes from my sword because one of them does a lot more damage. Uh, and just for, for info, fast attacks now also apply a bleeding effect. Affected enemies lose 125 vitality or essence per, points per second for five seconds. A really good skill and probably best to use overall. But sometimes when you have a sword that also has a, a very powerful bleed on it, you may uh, want to drop that skill. Uh, going down the line, we also have this skill here, Fleet Footed. Damage received from hits while dodging reduced by 100%. That basically turns it a little bit into Dark Souls. Awesome. And um, then we've got up here, three points into Resolve. Now, these points into Resolve, I just put up here so we can go to the next level. I, don't, I have it equipped now, but I didn't before. Um, not until the Mutagen system came in. And then we also have two points in Undying. Again, that was to get to the next rank, primarily. Um, but I am using it currently. And Undying, when reaching when Vitality reaches zero, it will be restored with a bonus of 25%. Uh, it does require an Adrenaline point, though. So it's good to make sure that you have one of those. And then down here, we also have five points in Razor Focus. Instantly gain one Adrenaline point when entering combat. And that's really good because it's going to synergize with a general ability that you're going to see in just a second here. Uh, then we also have three points right here. This is Delusion. The reason we have this is because uh, of that little sub thing there, increases the effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Um, every so often in the main game, you can use Axie to progress a quest or get more experience. Having this ability here, which you can swap in and out as needed, allows you to use Axie to its maximum effectiveness in those, um, those situations. Uh, then we have uh, four alchemy skills, which we use three of. We have Acquired Tolerance. Every known level one, two, or three alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by one. That can really help. Um, especially if you use a lot of potions and decoctions like I do. Then we have Refreshment. Each potion imbibes a heal of 25% of maximum vitality, which is really nice. That means that all your decoctions and stuff also uh, can help there. And then finally, we have five points in Protective Coating, which adds a 25% protection against attacks from the monster type of the oil targets. And this is for oils, which I'm really big about. I love oils in the game, and I try to use oils as much as I can. So Protective Coating really synergizes well with that. In terms of what major mutagens I'm using, three attacks. Two of them synergize directly with the, uh, the melee weapons we have up here. Uh, then we use one green for our alchemy. That gives us a little boost in vitality. And then down here, you can really use whatever you want. I just go with more attack. But you can, of course, do whatever you want to do there. Finally, in our general skills, we have um, Rage Management, which means if your current stamina level is too low, signs can be cast using Adrenaline Points. And what's really nice about this is this synergizes really well with that ability that I, I talked about earlier down here, where you instantly gain an Adrenaline Point when entering combat. Uh, that that kind of works well. Also, that, that extra uh, ability point, especially at lower level or Adrenaline Point, can also synergize well with... Um, this guy here on dying so if you go in and get like absolutely rocked in a fight at least you'll have a chance to jump in after that with uh with the other one then we have this which uh synergizes directly with our armor type each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage by 25 and fast attack damage by five so we make sure to wear all light armor in our build and that way we maximize the cat school technique buff and then down here finally i'm using strong back i was using this skill up here which Adrenaline Point increases both weapon and sign damage, and that is a very good skill to switch out on. However, for me, um, I personally am a big looter, and I like to go to town as infrequently as possible, so Strong Back kind of worked with me, but if I was going for a, a pure kind of damage uh, stat build, if I was min-maxing, I definitely would use Focus in its place. In terms of what Mutagen I use, currently I'm using Bloodbath, 
which uh, each fatal blow dealt by a sword dismembers the enemy or activates a finisher, and also, more importantly, each blow dealt by a weapon in melee combat increases attack power by 5% until combat ends. What's really nice about this skill is uh, it synergizes directly with Whirl. So, as you know, Whirl is that really fast attack spinning speed. This means every time someone gets hit by Whirl, it does 5% more damage, and it just keeps going up. So it really works well. Now, what also even synergizes even better with all this stuff is if you use the uh, the rune that makes it so you don't take range damage, then basically when you're whirling around, you're, you're near invincible because you keep staggering everyone. Put on a short potion, and that way you'll never get staggered, so it's even better. But unfortunately, bow guys can... Sh- can hit you and the second they do you lose that damage bonus so another thing i highly recommend to use with this is the um the uh rune right enchantment on your armor that prevents ranged weapons from doing damage to you uh now i am going to be working down this line and eventually probably use second life when vitality reaches zero you become temporarily invulnerable and regenerate 100 percent vitality um that's a really really nice uh, mutagen. So I may work my way down there. I'm just not quite there in my story. Finally, the only other thing I'll add to my build is, as I said before, I'm full light armor. I'm currently using a master, a Grandmaster feline set. Uh, however, I'm using two Viper Venomous Steel Swords. The reason that I use these swords over Mastercraft Feline is the 75% critical hit damage bonus, which is, a, again, a huge bonus and works really well. Uh, but then the important thing to look at right there is the Severance. Uh, Severance increases the range of Whirl by 1.1 yards and Rend by 1.9. So if you're ever wondering when I'm doing Whirl, why I have those particle effects at the very end, that's because I'm using Severance. And all of that stuff adds together makes my build, which at the end of the day, I love this build. I don't plan on even trying any others because of how much fun I'm having with it. And um, that's really about it. So anyway, thank you for watching. That is my Witcher 3 build. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed everything and hope to see you at twitch.tv slash co-carnage. Thanks.